Hello everyone, in this tutorial I am going to show you how I can create an e-commerce project in Laravel using a package called Lunar. So it will create a front end for e-commerce and also create a back end, I mean the admin panel for e-commerce as well. And I am going to show you everything step by step from the very beginning how we can create an e-commerce project like this using Laravel package Lunar. So first of all what you need to do is that you need to search over here Laravel Lunar then press enter and there you can see lunar php.io so we need to go to this link and after that click on documentation then it will take you to this page and here you can see e-commerce core so you need to click over here e-commerce core then you need to click here starter kits after that go down and here you will see some requirement your php must be 8.2 or higher uh, you need to have mysql 8.0 or higher and you must have exif psp extension enabled in your xamp also intl zd extension and bcmat extension enabled in your xamp once you have fulfilled those requirement it means you are ready to create your e-commerce project so for it here you can see we have a command over here composer create project uh, stability dev lunar php slash library starter kit and this will be the project name so uh, this is still in development so in future the command might be a little bit of different so i'll just keep this link in the description so that you can just directly come over here so right now i'm just going to copy this command up until this part control c after that we'll go to our folder and i'll go to my new volume d and here we are going to open a command prompt so i'll just click here then say here cmd then press enter so this will open a command prompt and i'm going to paste the command let me just make it bigger and here you can see composer create project stability def lunar php live starter kit example and uh, this is the project name let's say the project name will be laravel underscore lunar so this will create a laravel project using lunar so right now if i just press enter it will start creating our laravel project and uh, this will take some time and one more thing uh, that is in order to install lunar package in laravel make sure that you have uh, those extension enable in your xamp okay the zd extension ntl extension and exif extension okay so this will take some time around five minutes so i will just fast forward the video right now so here you can see that our project creation is complete and we can just close this right now and here you can see we have a folder called laravel underscore lunar so let's go inside and there you can see this is the laravel project that we just created so in this project directory we are going to open the command prompt again let's say here cmd then press enter and there you can see it, it opened a common prompt in the project directory so right now let's go back to our browser and here uh, we'll go down and we need to install this lunar package so let me just copy this and before we paste this command in the common prompt what we are going to do is that uh, let me open our project using sublime text so i'll <laughs> open it using sublime text i'll click on file then open folder and our folder name is laravel underscore lunar so here uh, you can see in the env file by default it give a database name called demo store so what i'm going to do is that we're going to create a database called demo store so let me just copy this then let me go to my browser then let's go to psmyadmin then click on new and we're going to give a database name called demo store then click on create and there you can see database is created so let's go and copy this command and we'll open the command prompt paste over here then press enter and here it will ask a question uh, run database migration we are going to say here yes then press enter and there you can see a lot of table will be created and there you can see so after this what we need to do is that uh, we need to give the admin username here let's say the first name will be super and the second name will be admin 
then press enter again and we need to give a email address let's say email address will be admin at the rate of gmail.com then press enter then we need to give a password let's say password will be on two three four five six seven eight nine then press enter again and there you can see a admin user is created and it will take a few seconds then it will ask you a question would you like to show some love for now we'll say here no press enter and there you go our project creation is complete so after that let me just copy this command php addition db6 and paste it here press enter so it will just create some random data in our database so this will take around a minute so again i will just fast forward the video and there you can see it is done after that we need to run this command php addition storage link let's copy this paste it here press enter and the link is complete after that we can just say here php artisan serve and press enter there you go it is running so if we just copy this then paste it in the browser press enter there you can see it will look like this and the image is missing so in order to solve this all you need to do is that let's go back to the code and we'll go to our env file and what we are going to do is uh, we are going to copy this address then here in the app url we are going to paste it here and we'll also remove this slash form here let's save it and if we now refresh again they can see this time image is showing properly and uh, here if we click on shoes it will show us shoes browser booties or sell there you can see and we also have add to cart option if we click on add to cart this product will be added to the cart and if you want to go to the uh, admin panel for it what you need to do is that you just need to say here slash lunar then press enter and it will take you to the sign in page here you need to give your email address admin email address then the admin password that we give in the command prompt then click on sign in and it will take you to the admin panel and here if you want you can change the admin panel color from uh, white to dark so it depends on your preferences and here you can see the product section from here you can add different product there you can see you can add a new product from here just click on new then just give it a name test uh, here you can say stop a random sq number a random price click on great and there you can see a product is created and this product is in draft it means this product is currently hidden so if you want to uh, make this product available then just click on update status and make it publish and click on save changes so there is a lot of option if you click on media then you'll be able to upload the product image let's say the image name will be test make it primary let me just add a random image from here it's uploading then click on create and the upload is complete so you can edit or delete it as well so let me just click on products and this is the new product that we just added we can uh, the stock is empty for now zero okay let me just go back and here you can add new brand for your product then uh, there is setting for the admin panel uh, there is also the sales option here orders then you can also see the customer details as well so this is a complete e-commerce website you can just uh, check out everything by yourself so using a lunar package you can really easily create a laravel e-commerce project so i hope you learn something new from this tutorial if you want to learn more about laravel then make sure to subscribe i will upload more video like this in the future or if you have any question also ask me in the comment section and i hope to see you in the future tutorials